All right, Shalom. One. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being a great example to us younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations, hopefully, got there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom unto the hopefully, the believers, the listeners whom have came back. To the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. And what I want to get into this morning, you know, is how we are prisoners, you know, of Yahweh Shai. You know, we are prisoners of Yahweh Shai. And understanding <clears throat> understanding the ministry, what we have to understand, you know, as brothers, is that we are servants, you know, to a great king. All right? We are servants to a great king and there's particular thing that the king expects from each and every brother you know that he has called into this service and that's why when you go to Ephesians 4 and 1 it says I therefore the prisoner of the Lord you see that the apostle Paul he will often refer to himself as a prisoner because he was locked in you know his life wasn't his anymore if you're a prisoner your life doesn't belong to you anymore you pretty much move based on, all right, another man's system, the system of the prison that you are in, you see? And in this ministry, we move based on the system of Yahweh Shai. That's what makes us a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, all right? And we know Yahweh Shai is all about forsaking this world, the cares of this life, you know, he's all about teaching. He's all about detaching. He's all about, you know, leveling up in the spirit. You know, he's all about increase. These are the things that Yahweh Shai is about. He's about us being watchmen. All right. Us watching for him. Warning. All right. Uh, the, the hopeful elect. He's all about this thing. His sheep tending to his sheep. He's very serious about his sheep. So we have to be serious about what we do all right this is not a light thing that we're a part of and this is more real than anything that we do now we we understand you have to work now that's not saying you know be unbalanced <laughs> you know and you don't do the things in this society that you need to do to maintain your situation of course you do that all right but these things are temporal see your house shy is eternal all right, Yahweh Shai is eternal. Our current situation is temporal, so we have to have a mind frame to put more emphasis on the eternal. Our way of thinking has to be based on the eternal, because Yahweh by Shema Shai he controls the temporal. And that's something that we can't lose sight of. All right? And read on, it says, I read again, this is Ephesians 4 and 1. It says, I therefore beseech you that ye walk worthily of the vocation wherewith you are called. Yeah, the vocation, man. This is a, uh, <laughs> this, this is a career, you know? And this career has pretty much, you know, overtaken, <laughs> my normal life like this 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 should overtake all right our normal life like <coughs> oh some like <clears throat> because like we start off we start off as um you know just watching the videos or if you have a camp in your city you go in the camp standing on the other side you know you might read a little bit during the weekend you know go watch camp on Saturday but then what happens man you get more and more involved all right then when you join the camp hey <laughs> now you doing I remember it went from doing two videos a day you know three videos to a video a day because what's happening is this thing is, has become more and more a part of our life man it has, it has, you know, pretty much, 
invaded <laughs> our life. Like this, 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 this ministry has taken over our life, man. And we understand that this is part of the duty. Like, you know, saying, you know, brothers talk about prophets and, you know, brothers being a, possibly the prophets, which we believe we are. Well, there's a responsibility. There's a great responsibility, man. Like, when we called into this thing, and then this is a thing of life. Like, ain't no retiring, ain't no stepping down, you know, ain't no, you see? No, this is a, a lifetime thing. This thing comes with responsibility because before the honor, you know, comes the humility. And we're going through the phase of humility because it takes humility to be a prisoner of your house shot. You know? And that's a sacrifice. Serving how about Shemal Shah, especially, you know, brothers in their youth. The scriptures even talk about that. What's um what's that in the feed? I mean uh Exodus. Not Exodus, uh Ecclesiastes. You go to the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12. What does it say? It said, Remember now the creators in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, because sacrificing our youth is a, is a heavy sacrifice, man. You know, because that's really as a man where you set your foundation. As far as you know, uh, setting yourself up for the future, you know, with careers and different things. You do that in your youth and you and you and you work into something. In this ministry, we have made this all right our career. And look what brothers is turning into. Now, the most high you have by Shema Shah is such a just power. You know, he'll take care of us financially. He'll, you know, we still got to, you know, handle our responsibilities as men. We still got to do our part, you know. But he'll put us in a situation financially where we be good, you know, for us making the decision to make this our career, man. Be a prisoner to this. It's when, you know, you step away. The further you step away from your house, shy, the more chaotic your life going to be. Ain't no other way around it. The further you step away from your house shot, the more chaotic, all right, life becomes. The closer you get to your house shot, the more order your life becomes because now everything is in proper order. When you when your house shot, all right, is not the, the, the focal point. <laughs> if we lose the sight that we're prisoners of your house shot, that's when things get bad. That's when things get chaotic. That's when, you know, you can be all over the place. And I'm talking through experience, man. So just keep the mindset that we are prisoners of Yahweh Shah, man. And we have to walk, which we have to live a lifestyle, you know, that's worthy of saying this is our career, man. This is what we do. All right? He ain't no half ass and ain't no excuses, you see? And that's another thing. How is I not dealing with excuses, man? You see? Because excuses make you non-productive. Excuses set you up for failure, man. How is I not dealing with that, man? All right? We have we have jobs to do. He gave us a certain talent to do those jobs. And he expects, all right, some type of return when he gets back, man. You know? So that's all I wanted to go into, Lord. Will you, brothers, and your few sisters, edified? Till next time, I say, Shalom.